Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am in my January book. I am trying to pace down the rest of my weeks in here. So I have a new weekly insert that's not available for purchase. And um, I had already glued down all of my hourglass, hourglass planner weekly inserts. So I was trying to take them up and the little adhesive that I used was really, really sticky this time around. I guess for the last few weeks of the, um, for this monthly book, I didn't use my regular glue stick. I used like a strong adhesive. I don't know. It just wouldn't come up and it was tearing the pages. So what I'm doing here is just gluing down the rest of the weeks because I like to make sure that uh, for future planning that I have all of my weeklies in and my habit trackers in for that month of that I'm working with. Now, I had already filmed this and completely like with my voice and I didn't have to do a voiceover. But when I went to go rewatch it, my voice was all distorted and I was like, man, that sucks. So I'm putting my voice over this so you guys know what I'm doing. It's mid, I wouldn't say mid month. It's what the 11th, almost mid month. And what I normally do is start bringing out the following month's book. So I will work on uh, my weeklies. I will work and make sure I have everything in for the last of that month. And then I will go ahead and um, bring out the February book and start labeling that book. Start trying to decipher, you know, the dates I'm going to be using in that book. So, yeah, so I'm just having a little trouble right here getting the positioning correctly because it's towards the end of the book. And y'all know sometimes when I cut my books, they're a little jagged. <laughs> so the full part of the page is not completely like the full. It's 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 a little off. So I got to make sure I center it. So what I do is I fold the book back on itself to where I get um you know, I could get into the crevices and then just put like a little bit of a strip of washi there. I don't like when I'm turning the pages and I can hear the crinkling sound because obviously I paste these in. Now, in the past, I used to paste my inserts on Tomo River paper and I wouldn't have this issue. I got lazy. I just use regular printer paper from like Target. I don't even know the pound. I just, I don't know. I, I, I just kind of just don't make things really hard for myself anymore. So, I am uh, having a really, really uh, good day so far. It's it's just been kind of, <laughs> I'm having a good day. It's just that, you know, my daughter woke up early. My routine is kind of just like shot. When she wakes up early, I, you know, I'm full-fledged mom mode, so I don't have time to like film and do the things that I like to do. You know, she's always waking up in the morning and she's like, okay, put my clothes on. What are we doing? We're ready to go. Like she's literally really ready to go somewhere. Um, that's the only downfall I would say with homeschooling um, for her, maybe not for other children, but for her, she's ready to go to the park. She's ready to go to the library. She's ready to do stuff. And clearly with the pandemic, it's not, it's not easy to do those things. So I try to make a routine, you know, go for a walk, go outside, do our homeschool, do breakfast, go, you know, just, you know, morning basket, things of that nature. But it's hard to get my brain all ready to go when I probably, I haven't even had like my first cup of coffee kind of thing. <laughs> So anyhow, I'm having a good time. Uh, she's actually eating her breakfast and I have all of the homeschool stuff laid out. So after this video goes up, we will definitely kind of just have, you know, our normal routine. But my part of my routine is to get my videos up. It's, it's my self-care. I like to sort through and walk through my planner. And um, it's just important to me that I reserve time for myself. I can't pour from an empty cup. So if I don't do the things that I love to do as well, um, it becomes super mundane. It become my days just kind of, you know, I look up, I don't even know what day it is because I'm just doing task stuff, house stuff, mom stuff. So I always try to get, you know, myself together and the things I like to do. So anyhow, I'm gluing all that down. Um, there you see the last week of the hourglass planner i'm trying to pull it up but it's going to rip the page so then what i do is i just leave it alone and then glue down um the week or wait maybe this is the one that actually pulls all the way up i forget there's one that see it starts to rip i think and um it's kind of satisfying watching this. No, it starts to rip. So then I just leave it alone. <laughs> 
So what I do is just kind of uh, cut out my weekly and then just um, paste that down. Now, I really love this weekly because it does encompass the things that I love. My titles are correct. Um, I use to do goals, clean meals, shopping, reminders, scripture and notes all at the bottom. And then the top part has our events. Um, the what I have found with my weeklies, if I do like a week on a page with notes and I try to divide the pages, I don't like so much space for my weekly like events and tasks because I mean, for one day, I'm probably going to have one task or, you know, so if I use like a week and a page like I used to in the past, I would find like I would my to do's would fall into my events. So what I do with the top part is I put my events, highlight them, and then I put down what we did. Like if I had to do something that was, you know, memorable, like I had to pick up my, you know, pets from the vet or I had an Aldi delivery or an HEB delivery or we went to the library, I start to put down the places we went. So I have a record of that on the week. So I really love this week. Again, um, the individual reached out to me. She does. She just says she loves to make inserts and she heard on my video that the correct titles weren't there and she just offered to to do it for me. I think she is, wow, I, I don't know. I've never talked to her before. So I, you know, she just says she was, you know, a person that watches my video. I get kind of leery with that kind of stuff and I was like, wait a minute. But then she just turned out to be such a sweet woman and um, I'm so very thankful. So if you're watching this, thank you again. I really love my inserts. And I'm kind of I'm kind of glad. Let me tell you why. I, I like to use things that nobody has. If you see like there's always just the same insert floating around and I just don't like it. And I'm kind of glad that this insert is custom to me and I'm the only one that has it with the exception of her. Obviously, if she wants to use it, whatever. But um. I don't know, because I put my stuff out there so much and I film daily. I like to be unique. That's why I love my books, because they're mine and they're 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 what I need them for. And they're um, yeah. So I, I actually like that. Uh, so here I am. <laughs> the first part of this video was me just getting my weeklies correctly. Um I just, it's important to me that they're in there because I put the little tab on there and then now I'm like, okay, I'm in my current week, here's my next week, and then here's my following week. And it really does help me with pre-planning. I mean, like I know there's an event at the end of the month and I like to write that on my week. So that way when I'm coming up to my week on a Sunday and I'm planning out what's going to happen for that following week, I already have everything there and it's reminded all the stuff in my week will go into my day. And then, you know, obviously everything is housed from my monthly. So that event at the end of the month is already on my monthly. So I bring it from my monthly to my week to my day, if that makes sense. So um, I'm just showing you that uh, how my process is working and how my weeks and are in, I will glue in my last two of my habit trackers. That's one thing that gets glued later um, is my habit trackers. And I'm so glad because I obviously have a new habit tracker as well. Um, it's just the same exact information. It's just um, made differently. She has categorized my personal home and victories and defeats, which is so, so, so amazing because I feel like it's sectioned out. And um, yeah, so I'm assuming she used like maybe Excel or Word. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to tell you, I'm okay with it. I'm not proficient, but it's tedious to me. And I, on the other hand, do not like to make inserts. <laughs> So thank you. So here I brought in my February book into the mix. I have my dashboards already glued down and my I just need to glue my memory page. I start going in and start to figuring out what what days, I mean, what weeks are going to be in this book. And the reason why I do that is because it's already mid month. So I like to make sure that I start to work on my next book. Um, and I have everything ready for that in case I do have other events, you know, that will pop up. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm basically, sorry, I'm also working in my other book as I'm doing this, my February book, as I'm doing this voiceover. <laughs> 
So um, I am in here trying to decipher my weeks. I uh, For February, it will be January 31st through February 27th. That last day of January goes in this week. And then the last day of the, like the 28th of February, will go into the nether book because of the way Mondays land. So I don't really care. Um, like say, for instance, someone were to ask, well, it's not really cohesive with the dates. I, I'm like, okay, if I need to go and find February 28th and, you know, I can, I can do that, but that's why I have the, the, this little post-it that helps me understand where I'm at. So right here, I'm just going to my tasks and personal goals. I'm just writing my header with my black pen towel brush pen. You can get them at Michael's. Um, I'm just writing in my February book, uh, what, what, where my tasks and personal goals go, where my uh, thankfulness goes and my scripture plan. Those pages are always before my habit tracker. So my habit tracker always starts my system. That is like the kickstart for every week. When I find a habit tracker, that's how I know that week is started. So prior to that, on every monthly book, I have my memory page, I have my dashboards, I have my tasks and personal goals, thankfulness and scripture. Um, it's just how I like to do it with every book. And so all I'm doing right here is running through an actual first week of that February book just to show you how I tab it out. I use like little Avery post-its and I go to town. I'll write out my habit tracker. I'll write out my morning page, which is what you see me doing there. Again, my morning page is for me to just write down um, just a little snippet of my morning and how I'm feeling, good, bad, ugly, whatever, whatever. The next one you'll see is my devotion notes. I kind of um, have a Devo 1 and a Devo 2. That's when I'm, I'm basically writing out right there to show, uh, you know, my system. I write it out in post-its and, and, you know, when I get to it, I'll set it up for that week and I'll take off the post-its and do all the decor and all that. I just want to make sure that I'm accounting for the whole book just so I could see where my commonplace starts. Because when my commonplace starts, that's where, you know, I decorate and have a dashboard as well. Uh, so I just take the time. This literally will probably take like 20 minutes. I don't do it all on camera. I'm only doing the first week. So many of you that ask, you know, can you set up a book from start to finish? Like, honestly, you don't want to sit me, see me just sitting here counting pages and writing on sticky notes. That's basically what I would do. I never do my book from start to finish. All of the decor, all of the inserts, like I like to keep that as my, how do you say, like a little teaser or a little like thing that I can look forward to every week is setting up my weeks every week by week. So obviously, you know, we're in the 10th through the 16th. When I set up next week on a Sunday, I sit there and I put the stickers down, the washi, I draw out my pages. That is self-care to me. That is giving me an opportunity to be me in my most highest form, my most creative form. It is a creative outlet and obviously it's free therapy. So if you haven't, if you're the one that like has to set up your whole book all in one swoop, uh, you know, hey, that's, that's awesome. That might be your form. But for me, I like to do it week by week. But I will use these little tabs to, you know, indicate where all my um, my system is. So I will pull out a little little tab right there and those go on my weekly. So I know where to paste in all of my weeks. Um, but like I said, I'm only doing the first week with you guys so you guys could see how that works and, and how, kind of how I, I get all my system in a book. So again, if I haven't mentioned, this is a 365 page Stology paper book that I cut down from an A5 myself. I have many videos showing that. So you would just have to, um, sorry, I'm reading a thing that came up. So you would just have to go ahead and, um, you know, look at those, those videos. So that is basically what I was doing this morning. It was very tedious and it was fun to me. And I just kind of wanted you to show you in case you were interested on how I do things and in my in my books, that's my exercise and my health log. Those are at the end of all of my system. And so I was just showing you guys there. Uh, I have many videos I film daily. So if you're really in the in the mood to just binge videos, uh, definitely you would you would have to 
binge them from the start of every month. And then you will be able to see me set up my books from, you know, cause I do that and I film daily and I show it. Thanks for watching guys. I really, truly appreciate your support. And, um, if you have any questions, let me know, like I said, I always try to be interactive and try to respond. I'm not a person that gives you all these links. So if you're looking for that, this really isn't the channel. I just kind of film organically. I film what's on my mind and what's what's on my heart. I really don't set up content of what I'm going to be filming daily. I just literally turn the camera on and film. And um, this is me just doing a flip of last week just to show you how everything comes together. Um, you can also follow me on Jesus and Paper. That is my Instagram my planner Instagram account. Um, and it's open free to the public. You guys can watch and see what I do there. It's a lot of fun. And again, I, if you follow me there as well, or if you're coming from over there to here again, I appreciate your support. It is so, so, so much fun. And I love taking you guys along. Um, you know, because it's, it's, it's something that I feel we don't have in the planner community. We kind of have a lot of aesthetic which is fine, but I like to see people talk through and how they use their planners and make messes and make, uh, you know, mistakes and cross out things and actually use their planner. Um, so that's just me and what I like to show you. And I literally don't know where this video ends. <laughs> I literally thought I was going to stop, you know, at, but I went and flipped. So anyhow, God bless you guys.